Hello everybody, it's Home Rules, and today I'm doing my Debbie Monday Night Raw reaction of the August 1st, 2016 episode. This is Raw 1210, by the way. The announcers are Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and I don't know who the other dude is, I forget. Um, if you leave them comments below who it is. First, what happens, Sasha Banks comes out there, and, and she's talking about, like, Thank you. I'm the boss. I got the. I have the WWE champion, Women's Championship now. And here, and I'm gonna beat Charlotte and retain this championship at SummerSlam. Charlotte comes out, and he says, "I had that championship for 300 days. 309 days. Um, you're like one night stands. Like you're married. You, you, you're um, you're the you're the daughter of Ric Flair. It, it wasn't for him. You, you, it would be not a one night stand. So here comes Trisha. Says quiet and says you're disrespectful, Charlotte Banks. And here comes Enzo Amore to help her out. And start saying how you doing like they're about to get or something like go for a girlfriend and then and, and then we're gonna have a tag team match. Um, Michael Mick Foley comes out and says that the general manager of Raw, and here we go, a mixed tag team match. Chris Jericho and Charlotte versus Enzo Amore and Sasha Banks, and Charlotte and Chris Jericho end up winning because Chris Jericho gets in the way and Enzo Amore got taken out and and then Charlotte does natural selection wins. And beach Sasha Banks, and here comes Chris Jericho, uh, co-breaker Denzel Moore, and here comes Big Cass to help him out, and he runs away, and uh, that's what happens there. Um, third happens, Brian Se Brian Strowman, yeah, versus Evan Armholm. He says, if I if I I get a thousand dollars just for being here, if I win, I get five thousand dollars. Well, Brian says is like, uh, I think he's the other announcer. Um, well, uh, well, um. Good luck on that. I don't think going to learn or anything. And Braun Strowman just throws him and then splats him into the corner and then does the reverse choke slam and does it again. And Braun, Braun Strowman wins with his new hair. Kind of weird. Doesn't wear a sheet mask anymore. Um, fourth, uh, Gold Dust and R True versus. Well, Gold Dust and R True are backstage talking to each other about. Like, R True is obsessed with that Pokemon Go. like, I hope you find him later. Let's round tag team match right now. Versus the Shining Stars, Primo and Epico, and they end up winning because our truth gets distracted with Pokemon Go, and Gold Dust gets a little upset with him, and that's what happens. And the Shining Stars win. Fifth, um, well, I already said that. I'm going to do uh, Pokemon Go, blah, 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 all that. Six, Sniffy Man and McFloor talking backstage, and here comes Mark Aaron's like, I am a former Olympic, I'm the strongest man in the world, I'm a former world champion, I'm a two time Olympian. And like we're gonna get, we're gonna give you a U.S. title championship title match tonight. Mark Henry's like, I'm gonna bring that title back to America. So that's what I do for the Hall of Pain. Um, so seventh is Rusev versus Mark Henry with Lana out there, which they get, just got married this weekend. So Lana's dressed up in some kind of, um, like white dress, like her, her um, marriage dress or whatever. Rusev ends up winning, hits him in the back of the head, does the accolade. Mark Henry taps out. And that's what happens. And right when Russo saying that I'm unbeatable, I'm the best, and you st like the only reason why my USA wins the Olympics because it's rigged. And here comes Roman Reigns with a red vest on, like red vest, like that looks cool. Um, here comes Roman Reigns. He's trying to he gets beat up a little, but then Superman punch off the steel steps. And I guess that's he's just gonna be he's just gonna face for that title, I guess. He has beat him before. I don't think Russo's ever beat Roman Reigns. Hey, Tyler Sunil versus Darren Young, the former primetime players. Tyler Sunil ends up winning with a roll up with he has the trunks, and Tyler Sunil wins. And then in the back, um, he gets a little upset with Tyler Sunil and attacks him and gets upset with uh, Bob Backlund and tries to threaten to punch him. Oh, yeah, this Raw is also in Atlanta, Georgia. Do, 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 do. Brock Lesnar is going to be on here tonight. Well, was on there. Nia Jax versus Aaron Mora, a local wrestler. Nia Jax just destroys her and ends up winning. Um, and the the WWE Tag Team Champions, the New Day, which uh, is Xavier Woods' band. He's like the, he was a unicorn or something. He's dressed up as a unicorn. Uh, Cole Kingston and Biggie end up beating Carlos and Luke Gallows, and yeah, like uh, Carlos got distracted with the the Sunting Biker, I guess. Do, do, do. Shazar versus Sheamus. That was a match you didn't really need to see, but like, 
Whoever wins that match gets a title opportunity down the line. It's Cesaro won with a neutralizer, and Sheamus got a little upset with that. Um, and they start brawling on the outside, and that's what happens. Charlotte and Donna Brooke are talking about their victory. Like Donna Brooke, a little bit of help. Um, but I'm not gonna need no help at SummerSlam when I beat her and get my. I'll become. I'll be a two-time women's champion very soon. Da -da -da -da. Teen Choice Awards with John Cena and all. Like I guess he was on there. Didn't watch it. Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn. Oh yeah, Seth Rollins was talking to Finn Balor and. It got a little rough, like Seth Rollins was like, I did everything before you, well I earned my opportunity, you didn't, so I'm going to beat you for the, for that, I'm going uh, to become the first WWE Universal Champion at SummerSlam, and Seth Rollins tried to do a cheap shot in the Finn Balor counters with a kick to the gut and a peel kick, which is a, kind of looks like a parry kick or something. Do, 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 do. Yeah, then Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn, and Seth Rollins won. Like, it was a very good match. So Sami Zayn did not hit the leg kick. He messed up there, and Seth Rollins caught him, and did pedigree, and won the match. Brock Lesnar's out there. Paul Heyman's out there. I guess he renewed his contract. I guess Brock Lesnar not suspended from WB, but, eh, oh well. Um, Paul Heyman's saying, you, like, you're going to go to Suplex City. You're going to get beat up. You're, you're not going to win at SummerSlam. You're going to get conquered by the conqueror, Brock Lesnar. And you just have an RKO. You're not, you're not, you're not going to get it, the position to get Brock Lesnar to get an RKO from him. And here comes Randy RKO out of nowhere. He's on, he's supposed to be on SmackDown Live, but he was on Raw. And the referees come out, the security comes out, McFoley and Stevie May come out. And Randy runs up there, celebrating the crowd, and poses like he usually does. And that was pretty cool. RKO's out of nowhere. It, well, right when Paul Heyman said, you're not gonna, you're not man enough to get him in the position for an RKO, and then Brock Lesnar gets RKO'd. That was pretty funny. And, for the last video, leave a comment and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.